Okay, this video is just going to show you quickly how we can add a um, like a wicker basket into a cupboard. Uh, we don't have them in um, Promobi mainly because they don't really use them a lot overseas. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to bring in a SketchUp model. Now the SketchUp model I've actually imported directly from SketchUp. Uh, so I've just been to 3D Warehouse. You can open a free account there. You can type something in there and find some models. Download them as SketchUp models. You can choose which model, but just the SketchUp model. And then you can actually import it into Promobi. We can save it into Promobi, which I'm going to do just now and show you. And then we can use that. We can change the sizes and everything and put it into one of our cupboards. So let's get it, go ahead. I'm just going to take a 500 one door unit and I'm going to pull it down like that to my 150 kick plate. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the door and I'm going to press delete on my keyboard and I'm going to delete the door so that I've got my, my carcass with my shelf in. I'm going to make a two drawer uh, or two basket um, cupboard. Obviously if you wanted to do three you could add another um, shelf and just lay them out equally. But let's, for this uh, demonstration we're going to just use two. So what I'm going to do is I've already downloaded some SketchUp models so I'm going to come up here and where it says import 3D model I'm going to click on the 3D model and I'm going to search and I'm going to use this one down here to download a few but let's try this one at the bottom I'm going to say open it's going to give me the path and I'm going to say forward now it's going to tell me I can carry on using Promobi while it's air importing but it doesn't take very long anyway so I'm going to click at the bottom in my toolbar where it says 3D model importer and this is what you're going to get so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this wicker basket but what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it I just want it as wicker basket so we can just take that out like that and uh, where it says door I'm actually these are all different ones that I've already created and this is what's going to eventually come up into your favorites when you want to use favorites so what I'm going to do is I haven't got one for baskets so let's create one so I'm going to say new and it's going to ask me I'm just going to call this basket okay uh, basket and I'm going to say W so I know it's the wicker baskets okay and it's going to create a folder for me now it says here keep it original that's fine 100% but what I want to do is these dimensions are always tiny um, they always bring the model in really small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and I'm going to make it um, let's make it 300 and if I could just click where the 9 is it's going to automatically because I've got this uh, ticked it's going to automatically do the dimensions for me we are going to be able to change it afterwards this is just so that we can bring it in and it's easier to work with so I'm going to go down to forward I'm going to click forward this is done let's say finish and you'll see now I've got a little green box and that's where it's going to be. So there's my basket that I've just brought in. And that's come in from uh, SketchUp. So I'm now going to put that obviously into uh, into my cupboard. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it back so it touches the cupboard. And I'm going to make it as, as close to uh, sort of middle as I can. Um, and now over on the right hand side I'm going to just change some of the dimensions of this. So my width, I've got a 500, so I'm going to make this um, 460, okay, like that. I'm going to pull it back in towards the center, and height-wise, we've got it at 225. I'm going to make that 300, and I'm going to make my depth, I actually want my depth to be about 500, okay. And now what I'm going to do is where my Z is, I know this is sitting at 150 off the kick plate and I know that my bottom shelf is 16. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make this a 167. So I've got a little bit of play. I'm going to say enter. And now I'm just going to move this back. But I'm going to do it sort of manually to make sure that I can get it to where I want it. So I'm going to go up to the move tool. Uh, I'm going to move it about 400 because I know that's how far in I'm going to go and I'm going to go on the minus it's gone in I'm going to go in maybe another hundred I'm going to go on the minus and again now I can see I've gone too far that's fine I'm going to do it at 20 and we're just going to bring it out till it's about level and there we are quite happy with that 
and I can see I've got eight mil on this side and zero on that side. So I'm just going to move it four mil to get it nice and centered. I'm going to click on there. There we are. So my first basket is in, in my cupboard. So I'm quite happy with that. And what I'm going to do now is I need to duplicate this. So the best way is I'm just going to go to array. I'm going to come over here where the Z is to go up. If I make two, you'll see that I've got a little green outline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick on this little box over here so that I'm going to measure it from the top of the other one over there. And I'm going to come up. And this is a little bit of guesswork. I'm going to say about uh, 150. And when I come over here and I click by the two, you'll see that it's put the green box in. And I can see I'm way too high. So let's change this down to, say, 60. Again, I can move it once it's, uh, once it's in. But I just like to do this because then I can actually get it nice and roughly where exactly where I want it. So I'm going to make that uh, 45. It's a little bit too, so let's make it 50. I'm going to make it 52. Be happy with 52. And then I'm going to say insert. And there you go. I've now got a, a unit that has got two wicker baskets. Now what I'm going to do is two things I can do with this. One, um, I'm going to just click on the wicker basket itself and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add to favorites. Okay. And over here I can call this, uh, I'm going to call it a, a wicker basket two. Got another one like that. Uh, I'm going to just copy that. And I'm just going to add it over here. And I don't really need to do a reference. I'm going to say forward. And sometimes it doesn't always show. We're just going to go high. See what the light is. Do it on the original box, not your copy box. Um, otherwise, it's not going to find it. So I'm just going to turn this a little bit just so I can see what it's going to look like. Here's my little thumbnail. Um, I can make that higher. Let's have a look at the lights. That looks good. I can even change the shadow or anything if I want. I can change it here. So if I move this over, I can just adjust how that's going to look as a thumbnail. I'm happy with that. I'm going to say forward. And over here you'll see that I've already got one called basket. I've got one in there. So I'm just going to click on basket. I'm going to say finish. And now if I go along to my favorites and I go to my basket folder that I've just created, there's my basket that I've just put in. So it makes it a bit easier if you want to uh, go ahead and, and create something else. Uh, you'll see on mine I've got things like oven units I've created got some hoods that I've brought in, uh, I've got some test units, some different things, I've got some railings, uh, I've got some lounge furniture that I created, some bedroom information, different types of tops, I brought some sinks in, wall units, plugs, so you can bring all sorts of different things in, I've got air conditioners, so I've got a, a couple of different types of bries in there that I've brought in, um, some wine glasses, uh, steel beam for instance uh, something else I've created so if I've created some things I've also been able to save them like a couple of TVs uh, different wine racks so you can bring in different things so you can reuse that so if I come here I can literally just drag it into my 
underwing. So if I want to bring it in, let me just go back into the drawing. Let's put them over here. Oh, nice mouse. I've got a new mouse and it seems to be uh, jumping all over the place at the moment. So if I come over here, it's looking through the floor for some reason. There they are there. So I actually brought the other one in anyway. So you can just bring them in and then you can obviously just change the height of where you want them. So I wanted a 150. There's my box. So now I could use that box again and again and again if I wanted to. And by highlighting it, you can delete it and it will be over there. So that's the first way of doing it. I hope that that will help. And I'll create another one to show you a different way of doing it as well.